cowherd boy grazed his cattle in a field where a venomous snake lived. Everybody was cautious of the danger. One day, a brahmachari was passing through the field. The cowherd boys ran up to him and cautioned not to go that way, as a venomous snake lived there. The holy man said, "I'm not afraid of it. I know a mantra to ward off this danger." And went into the field all alone. And swiftly came the snake with its hood raised. But as it came near, the holy man uttered the mantra. The snake fell at his feet like an earthworm. Why do you keep harming others? Come, I'll give you a mantra to repeat, so you'll develop a love for God and have no desire to harm others. Repeat this mantra and don't harm anyone. I will come again. Saying this, he gave the mantra to the snake and left. Some days passed. The cowherd boys noticed that the snake no longer tried to bite them, despite them throwing stones at it. One day, one of the boys went to it and caught hold of its tail. He whirled it around and around and dashed it several times on the ground. The snake vomited blood and fell unconscious. The boys thought it was dead, so they left. Late that night, The snake regained consciousness and dragged itself with great difficulty into its hole. Its body was broken with no strength to move. After a few days, reduced to a mere skeleton, the snake came back out of its hole at night looking for food. Afraid of the boys, it couldn't come out during the day. After its initiation with the mantra, it ceased to harm anyone. It fed on leaves and fruits that fell on the ground. After a year had passed, the brahmachari came back and looked around for the snake, but the cowherd boy said it was dead. The brahmachari found that hard to believe, as the snake had received a mantra, so death was impossible before it had seen God. He searched where he had seen it last and called out by the name he had given it. Hearing the voice of its guru, the snake came into sight and bowed down reverently before him. The holy man said, "Why are you so weak?" The snake replied that only he had asked not to harm anybody. So it lived on leaves and fruit. Perhaps that is why he had grown so weak. The snake had developed the quality of sattva and didn't get angry with anyone. Lack of food alone could not have brought you to this pass. There is something else. Think. The snake then remembered what the boys had done and it had narrated the whole story to brahmachari You are so stupid you don't even know how to save yourself what i forbade was your biting i didn't ask you not to hiss why didn't you frighten them away by hissing you should hiss at bad people to frighten them so they don't harm you but you must not inject poison into others and injure them When you live in the world to protect yourself from bad people you must make a show of tamas but it isn't right to harm anyone just because you think they may harm you